on this is the journey to the Museum of Contemporary Art downtown. Um, but we will go to the museum in a few minutes and get started. So uh, we do have to let you guys know there's no camera, no photography that is allowed for our shows. Uh, since I did notice that you guys, some of you have brought cameras with you. A good movie. Um, it was very interesting. It had different perspectives, and uh, we can get different perspectives in our film. A guy who works at medicinal marijuana dispensary is interested in helping us with the documentary. So I had to figure out if we can actually do it. Hi. <laughs> I would I would have to talk to Robert, but I'm guessing that's kind of a no-no. Okay? And I mean, if it were a yes, you'd still have to talk to all your parents. They'd all have to agree. I mean, it's a kind of a big ordeal. Um, so I put that as plan D. Okay? But I will ask for you. All right. Okay? That's, that's all I can do. So tell us a little bit about what you found. Do you want to get free diving lessons? Um, he's a local diver in San Diego, <laughs> and he gets paid hourly, and he's interested in doing a project with us. See ya. I guess I'll get back to him. Yeah, I did. Um, we plan on getting a diver, and... <laughs> well, I'm a diver. Contracted diver. He does stuff in the military sometimes. So we're thinking <laughs> of doing a, his portrait out of maybe sand or... Anything that's related to the ocean, seaweed, or something. Cool. You guys, those are the scratches we eat. Oh, um, sponge. Um, oh, uh, sponges. We're going to Seaport Village by the Midway to interview Ryan. Um, and then after that, we're going to go take a photo. And then we will make a portrait out of it. Uh, 
uh, I was certified to do like corporate networking, like big scale computer stuff. So I did a uh, systems administration for, for a few years. Uh, before that, I was a body piercer for a while. Yeah. Other than that, just sort of small jobs when I was in high school. I mean, if you'd ask me when I was, you know, 20, if I thought I'd be like diving. What are some of the pros and cons of what you do? Uh, there's a lot of cons. Uh, it's it's a little more interesting than most other jobs, I think. It's a little more varied. Uh, going from like doing the computer work and sitting in an office every day was making me a little stir crazy. Whereas you know now it, it's different. But I mean, most of the cons are you know it's a environmental thing. Like I you know 90% of the time I can't see anything. Uh, it's cold. Uh, it's heavy work. It's, it's, it's physically taxing. Uh, there's travel restrictions. You can't fly. Like if I did a dive today, I couldn't hop on a plane. This evening, I'd have to wait a day or two. So does dining provide the life that you want to live right now? I think so. Uh, the position that I'm in, the work isn't necessarily steady. Like I, I don't work every day. Uh, I have another part-time job I do. Just when I have off, like I didn't. I didn't work for the diving company that I worked for all last week, but I'll be there on Monday. The thing with the diving that a lot of people don't realize is that you, you, you can throw a helmet on a monkey and it can breathe on the water. It's, it's not the hard part. You, you really need to sort of be a jack of all trades uh, doing this sort of thing. It's like, I mean, I've used chainsaws in the water. I've, you know, used big cutting torches. Uh, one day you could be welding, the next day you could be swinging a hammer. And, like, it's just, you, know, you don't necessarily know. Just like a couple more photos here and then head back. Do people get hurt often? Yeah? Not so much. The company that I'm with now is a just pretty big safety company because it's like contracting work. But the last company I worked for, I, I got hurt, but a couple other people got hurt. Of course, I did. Like I said, the one guy was just full of eardrums. We had another guy had a pile fall on him. Supervisor had on that job didn't know how to use it, so it's turned up to like 150 something degrees. And it's real hard to get into this kind of work, especially now. It seems like we're in a recession. Did. A lot of people try to change careers. I did, I got lucky, but I think the school I went to, I had 15 people, including myself, in my graduating class. Basically, the only way you can do that is if you work for a company that has international contracts. Okay, so right now, Ori is cutting a stencil of this, which is our blank of our picture that we took of Ryan, the portrait that we chose from the tag we took. And then we're going to put the stencil on the floor, we're going to fill it with sand, remove the stencil, and then take a picture of it. This poor thing that's happening is really inconvenient. I almost died a few times. Can you reconfigure that? Because that's not safe so much. Oh, I love, love this color. The ones with this and then the black nail no, pull. No, not that one. Yeah. 
the, um, this one. It comes on really cold. And here's uh, the other one. This is this is wow. Um, what color is last in the picture? 